again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 4th of February, 2019. Just read a rather disturbing article on CNN written by James Griffiths. That's G-R-I-F-F-I-T-H-S. Title, 20,000 Homes at Risk in Australian Floods as Crocodiles and Snakes Wash Up. You're not going to believe some of these photographs. Devastating flooding in northeast Australia has forced thousands of people from their homes and brought snakes and crocodiles onto the streets as authorities warn of strong winds and more rain on the way. Much of the city at Townsville in Queensland state is flooded, with residents left without power and some compelled to seek safety on roofs of their homes according to CNN affiliate 7 News. Intense rain on Sunday forced authorities to open the floodgates on the Ross River Dam to relieve pressure and prevent a collapse, releasing about 1,900 cubic meters of water per second downriver. The dam was holding 224% of its capacity Monday afternoon, according to CNN affiliate 9 News, after peaking Sunday night at 247 percent. Dangerous and high velocity flows will occur in the Ross River Sunday night into Monday. Unprecedented areas of flooding will occur in Townsville. Expect access routes to be out and cut. The Queensland's Bureau of Meteorology said in a statement, you'll see another photograph there of the roads completely washed out. The massive downpouring hit Townsville come as Australia is reeling from a second breaking heat wave that affects all eight of the country's states and territories. More rain is now forecast with about 100 meters, four inches of rain scheduled to hit Townsville Monday and another 50 meters, two inches to 75 meters, three inches on Tuesday, according to CNN meteorologist Karen Maganis. You're not going to believe what this town looks like. Number 9 News reported that the entire suburb of Townville were completely submerged. Local residents, Grisham Ross, told 9 News that the floodwaters are the highest he's seen in 30 years of living in the area. You just can't believe how much water has come down the Ross River, he said. A couple of embedded videos. A one in a hundred year event. On Saturday, as the flooding rapidly worsened, police in parts of Quillen are going door to door to warn residents to leave their homes. It's basically not just a one in a 20 year event, it's one in a hundred year event, State Premier Anastasia Plazuka said Saturday, according to Nine News. Speaking Monday, Plazuka warned there is going to be heavy rainfall over the next couple of days. There will also be damaging winds, gusts, and intensive rainfall with significant flash flooding. So once again, our message is, if you don't need to be out on the roads, please don't, she added. Hundreds of homes in Townsville have already been inundated. Seven News reported that there are fears between 10,000 and 20,000 properties could be at risk from the coming bad weather. Well, it's the bad weather plus the opening of the dam. To make matters worse, the terrified residents fleeing their homes there have seen numerous sightings of crocodiles and snakes being swept along with the floodwaters, Nine News reported. Madaguga resident Erin Han told the broadcaster she spotted a freshwater crocodile in front of her father's house Sunday night. It was nearly a meter or two long, three and a half to six feet, she said. You'll actually see a photograph of the crocodile in the water. Folks, you think this is natural or you think that, you know, it's man-made? I'm referring to the weather that Australia is experiencing. It's going to get crazier, folks. I'll attach the link. Look at the photographs. Look at the embedded videos. If you have any friends that live in Australia, wish them a whole lot of luck. The link will be attached. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.